Thanks a lot. That was a great welcome. My favourite drugs are all of them. <laughs> and that's why I don't know where Telford is. No fucking idea. No, I, no idea, mate. Let me just get my guitar. It's on the other side of the stage. <laughs> Thanks for your patience there. I appreciate that. Now, it's really important as, um, as a comic, as a comedian, as a performer, really, in general, you've got to start with your best material. No fucking about. <laughs> it's straight in there. <clears throat> so that's what I'm going to do. That's not it, by the way. Just a focus <laughs> line, by This is called The Absolutely Amazing Song about travelling round Europe. That rhymes. I'm off to Paris in a Yaris. This next song is uh, kind of like, well, you might relate to it. You might not. Yeah, you were. Uh, you know, you might relate to it, you might not. That's it's life, isn't it? Someone is talking. I haven't listened to a single word they've said. I'm dying of boredom. <laughs> and it's actually getting quite hot in here. It's like the perfect combination of heat and boredom. And it's making me horny. <laughs> oh no, I'm getting horny. Getting horny in a staff meeting. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I work in a primary school, so you've got to be dodgy, but laugh out there. Like. <laughs> She's a twat, and he's a twat, but they're very convincing. They're all very convincing twats. I'm tired and I'm off to bed. That is a song called Question Time. Uh, which is just the most annoying programme. It just makes you angry, doesn't it, when you watch it? Five of them are dickheads and one's all right. That's always the way it is. You might have heard of this saying before, actually. The older you get, the more right-wing you become. But I, I don't think it's necessarily true. I think this is more accurate. The older you get, the more you find people... Annoying. It's true. I'm 37. I've got three mates. I'm trying to make it two. Just, it's, it's crowds, you know, it's crowds. They're just You can't handle it as you get older. We got together about three weeks ago. There were four of us. I was like, lads, there's too many people here. I'm going to do one. They all thanked me. It was nice. It's pointless going out though. No one's got any good stories. No one's trying to impress each other anymore. It's just shit middle aged conversations. You alright? Yeah. Whereabouts did you park? <laughs> Fucking point. There comes a time, it's quite, it's quite a young audience, it's Monday night, I suppose. It's, but there comes a time in everyone's life. Right, when you're out surrounded by young people and it's, they're having a great time, it's a fantastic atmosphere and you look around and you just think to yourself why am I not at home? <laughs> this is fucking terrible that's what you do spend more time at home if someone knocks on the door you hide <laughs> yeah. It's six o'clock, you've got your pyjamas on. You're fucking going nowhere. I must admit, I, I, honestly, I'm, I'm having issues at home at the minute. Uh, the reason is I live with my three-year-old daughter. Has anyone here ever lived with a three-year-old? Yeah. Fucking hell. <laughs> Thing is, she's worked out that I'm scared of her. <laughs> and... Uh, and she acts a call like three year olds that always try to assert their independence, you know. I can do it, I can do it. 
She can't. <laughs> but you give her a go, you know. I want to drive. Fine. <laughs> okay. But I'm not getting in with you. I'm not stupid. Fucking hell. Well, she started going to the toilet by herself, which is great for her. But she can't wipe her bum yet, which is shit for me. (laughs) So, yeah, we're in the bathroom. This is about a month ago. We're in the bathroom, right? And I'm getting the biggest bollocking you've ever heard. She's screaming at me. Uh, And it's quite reverby, the bathroom. It sound really does travel, doesn't it? I'm getting increasingly intimidated. She's screaming at me. The reason? I was standing on the wrong tile. (laughs) It's it's my own fault as well. I I just walked into the bathroom. I didn't think to ask her. (laughs) Which tile do you think I should stand on? I wasn't thinking straight. (laughs) But then suddenly, she started to squeeze one out, which was a beautiful moment for me. (laughs) Because you can't shit and scream at the same time. (laughs) I've uh, I've tried it a few. It's virtually possible, But... uh, it's quite captivating, actually, watching another mammal excrete. It's weirdly captivating, isn't it? Don't judge me, by the way, because I know for the fact that everyone in this room has watched a shitting dog for a little bit too long. Just a little bit too long. You didn't need to see it, but you did, didn't you? I'll never forget what she said, though. Really weird, intense eye contact, which, doesn't it, which was fucking weird, I'll be honest. But uh, she went... Nah. You stand there. You you can wipe my bum when I tell you. And I'm that psychologically downtrodden. I just stood there and went, thanks. I was genuinely grateful for the direction. And suddenly I realised I have become a disrespected arsewipe. And I'm fucking grateful for it. That's the... You looked at me, you said, yes, I can. And then you hit me in the bollocks. (laughs) That's a song called, no, you can't have ice cream for breakfast. (laughs) Turns out she can. Petrol pump, 30 pound and one pence. (laughs) Day fucking ruined. (laughs) Got any fans of rugby union in? Very confident, (laughs) as well. Hey, Hey, no, there's nothing wrong with it. Don't take piss out of him. What's your name, pal? Say again, please. Dale. Dale. Of course it fucking is. <laughs> this one's for you, Dale. This is a song called Rugby Union. It's a little bit gay. Say what you say. <laughs> say what you say. Um, whatever, you know, whatever preference, really. It's like I'm not, whatever you want to do, innit? I, uh, did you... Uh, Someone's here for the Beatles tour. Yeah. yeah. I thought I fucking love the Beatles. Do you like Dylan? You're a fan of Bob Dylan? I am as well. I fucking love Bob Dylan. I, I, I'm going to play it just for you guys. Here. I'm going to play this. It's a Bob Dylan cover. I don't always do this if there's no Dylan fans in. I won't do it. Um, I like his voice, mate, Dylan. It sounds like someone who's about to fall off a chair. <laughs> but never quite does. <laughs> Love, it, love his vocal. Uh, he wrote this song in 1969, just before he went electric, uh, but it was never released on an album. Uh, crazy, just rotting in the studio. Uh, but it was picked up in the uh, mid-80s by um, uh, Will Smith. I'm giving a little bit of a revamp, but I'm going to play the original version now. This is a beautiful song, this. I hope you enjoy it. It's called <clears throat> The Fresh Prince of Bob Dylan. <laughs> Uh-oh. 
This is a story all about how my life got turned upside down. I'd like to take a minute if you sit right there. I'll tell you how because it's go. Bella? Well, in West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground, was where I spent most of my days. Chilling out, mixing, relaxing, all cool, and shooting some people outside of school. But a couple of guys who went up to no good. Started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight. My mom got scared. She said, Bob, you're moving with your auntie and uncle. To Bella. <laughs> Put up to the house about seven or eight. And I said to the cabbie, yeah, I'll smell you later. I looked at my kingdom. I was friendly there to sit on my throne. There's the bridge, sir. No. Bella. Beautiful song, but uh, I, I, never released. Incredible, isn't it? <laughs> People say Dylan was a great lyricist, which is, you know, it's bullshit, really. No, no one cares about song lyrics. Uh, they think they do, some, but they don't. What, what most of us like is a, a nice melody, a nice vocal. That's it. That'll do. Songwriters have got onto this as well. Sometimes well, they're, they're writing song words, and they just think, fuck it. No one's listening. I'll just have a line off. This happened to Lazy. Gabrielle's back in the charts again, isn't she? Do you remember Gabrielle? She had that song, Dreams. The second line in that song doesn't exist. This is exactly how the song goes. It was, dreams can come true. You know you got... This happens all the time, man. All the fucking time. But the best band for it weren't the Beatles. It was the Bee Gees. I love the Bee Gees as well. I mean, they, they hardly wrote any song lyrics at all. It's just high pitched vowels and consonants slammed together. Here's and here's and here's and here's and here's. That's all it is. Well, I'll give you an example. You're all familiar with the classic 80s track, You Win Again? Yeah? Anyone know the words? Don't bullshit. <laughs> We're going to go through the words. Well, the words is three word song, You Win Again. That's it. We're in the key of D. Not that it fucking matters. It goes, you win again. So one, two, three. You You can sing all the words. This is how the song goes. And that's our right song with three words. Fucking piss. Piece of piss. Well, John, that Gabrielle trick, just have a line off. The fucking Bee Gees invented that. Well, you can't tell by the way I use my walk. I'm a woman's man. No time to talk. But the most ironic thing about the Bee Gees, apart from the fact that I do look a little bit like all three of them, (laughs) they had the nerve to write a song actually called Words. Fucking amazing. Quick snippet from Words now. It's the last thing we'll be doing. But uh, you have to forgive me for the first bar. I have to do the Ronan Keaton version. Can't help it. Fucking love Ronan. If you want to sing like Ronan, it's easy. Just out out the corner of your mouth. Right there. This is words. Sorry, this, uh, this is words <laughs> by the Bee Gees. Hurt surely. Words and words are far ahead. Take your heart away. What words are these, Barry? Please enlighten us with. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. La, la. Come on, you all know basic French. Let's do this. <laughs> uh, do you know what? No one's ever done it, that shit. <laughs> so, I'm going to leave it there. I yeah, always end on a shit one. That's what I say. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. I, I'm on tour in the UK, uh, but I'm not doing Liverpool. I'm doing Wigan, so it's, it's not fucking worth it, is it? Oh, it is! <laughs> Are you mates with Dale? 
<laughs> okay, that's fine. Oh, no, there's nothing on. Are you coming, Dale? No. Fair dues. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. Take care. Have a good one. <laughs>